Alright guys, the Gainwood Phantom 3GB GTX 580. So I've been pretty excited about getting my hands on one of these and at last I have. So, just give you a quick look at the box to start with. Nothing too exciting on the box, it's all pretty obvious stuff. Um, besides what they say about the cooler. So that's what they have to say about the cooler there. 6.3 decibels quieter. 12 degrees cooler. And there's the design. And there's a bit of a write up on it there so you can pause that if you wish. Um, yeah, besides that, it's all pretty standard, so I'll just get you off the tripod and we'll have a look at what's in the box, which is actually not a whole lot. VGA to DVI and just a Dual 6 pin to 8 pin, which if you're running one of these cards, you should have a real power supply, so you shouldn't have to use those. Um, just a quick start guide and a driver's CD. Never use the driver's CD, always download the latest drivers from the website. Okay, so here's the card itself. Now, obviously this has double the memory that the reference GTX 580 has. Um, so it actually has a custom PCB. And not just because of the extra memory, um, it's because it has extra um, voltage regulators and power hardware, MOFSETs. So you can see the two SLI connectors there for up to quad SLI. The usual 8 pin and 6 pin power connector, and that's the same as the reference card. It's basically got the radiator, you know, the fins in front of the fans, uh, and then the fans are underneath, which is great because it pulls the cool air straight through the fins and then you know it blows a lot of air also onto this um, contact plate that they've got that goes right across the printed circuit board um, I'll give you a better look at that in, the, in a minute and that covers all the memory um, and a lot of the other bits and pieces so it's a very awesome looking design I'll just try and get the whole card. I'm sorry it's a bit marked, not very happy about that but anyway probably just polish it up a bit and it should be fine. It's just because it's black with a really bright light on it so it's very easy to notice. So yeah the fins are actually quite thin um, and then it's got all these heat pipes on this side which is one, two, three, six heat pipes so you can see the contact plate a bit better there. That goes all the way. And so those heat pipes go straight down onto the back of the um, heat sink block that contacts the GPU itself. So you can see there's three of those fans in there. Um, can just see it there. I'm actually not sure how big they are. I should have really checked somewhere. But um, they look they look about 60 millimeters, maybe a bit bigger. Don't quote me on that. So quite a solid 
feeling card not too heavy but just you know the PCB stays nice and stiff thanks to that big contact plate so a dual DVI and we've got a HDMI and a display port So very sexy looking card, lovely black PCB, and as I mentioned it's a custom PCB, and a beautiful looking cooler on it too. I'm actually going to be water cooling this card, um, oh, there's also a Phantom logo just there. EK made special water blocks to suit. Um, these cards and a few others with the non-reference PCB so um, yeah I'm going to be putting one of those on it almost forgot check it out I've got two of them so you're going to be seeing these babies in SLI and I'm going to be fully testing them alright guys so the cards are in the Singularity Beast uh, now the reason I'm testing them in the Singularity Beast and not in the test bed um, yeah usually i would be testing everything in my P67 Sabretooth test bed uh, on the Sandy Bridge platform but this time there's two reasons I'm testing it in the Singularity Beast one is because I'm upgrading this machine and these are the cards that I am upgrading with and the other reason is the, bigger re the biggest reason and that is that the Singularity Beast is set up with NVIDIA Surround and also 3D Vision Surround so what I'm going to be testing um, these cards being three gigabyte cards you know the reason I got them is because I run 3D surround that extra bit of memory is um, very necessary for, for high resolutions and also useful for 3D um, the 3D surround that I run is the resolution is 5760 by 1080 uh, and that high resolution really sucks a lot of memory and um, you know you need some serious high performance cards to run that to run NVIDIA um, surround you need SLI you need two cards minimum unless you go for a GTX 590 um, and in that case you can run 3D surround off the single card um, okay, so I'll just give you a quick listen to the cards. They've been idling for a good long time. So that's at idle. Keep in mind it's SLI so it'll be a little bit louder. Um, I can't hear the cards at all. They are absolutely silent at idle in my opinion. Background noise easily drowns them out. There is the noise pollution from the other fans in this machine. Uh, all testing is going to be done with the side panel off and the reason for that is that this machine is set up for water cooling. So the airflow, I mean it's the Obsidian um, 800D so the airflow in this case is bad anyway. Um, but I'm missing quite a few fans because I'm running water cooling so the airflow is extremely bad. Um, you know, normally it would be on a test bed which is even more open so the side panel will stay off for this testing I had it on the other night playing Crisis 2 and the internal case temperature the temperature of the air inside the case got up to 60 degrees so that just shows you how much hot air um, these cards are pumping out into the case and that's something else I failed to mention when I was giving you a look at the card um, earlier. These cards pump out all the hot air, almost all the hot air, 
into your case okay they're pumping out air from all four sides and you know towards the motherboard towards me right now out the back and also out that end well that's the back really um, that's the front I guess um, so anyway all four sides hot air is cranking out so you're going to need a case with supreme airflow so yeah if you're going to be buying these cards or even one of these cards you need as much airflow as you get as you can get okay so you can see the two GPUs GPU 1 idling at 51 degrees GPU 2 at 45 GPU 1 is um, always a bit hotter so you can see both GPUs are at 0% usage okay guys so I've had the cards running at 100% load for about 30 minutes now you can see the temperatures there of GPU 1 and 2 So you can see load is at nearly 100%. I'm using folding at home as usual. Um, so yeah, right there you can see both cores at nearly 100%. So I'm just going to take the camera off the tripod and give you a close listen to the cards. Um, no doubt you can hear them from here. But I'll put you right up close. So, this is with the fan speeds at 80%. Okay? So, the fan speeds are at 80% at. Um, well the top card is 85 degrees so I'm just going to turn them up to 100% for you uh, just so that you can get an idea of how bad it can actually get keep in mind this is SLI it's in a low airflow case uh, it's in a very very hot room okay so the room temperature is 32 degrees currently. Um, I mean, the, the fans are going to be spinning that fast at this GPU temperature, no matter what temperature the room is. Um, but if the room was cooler, the, fa the cards would certainly be a lot cooler. Um, so 32 degrees, the cards the top card is currently 84 degrees um, can't really calculate that delta <laughs> that quickly in my head because I'm not that good at maths but here we go fan speed at 100% just give it a minute to spin up Okay, so I just quickly calculated that delta. It's a delta of 52 degrees. So that concludes the first part of the Gainwood GTX 580 Phantom 3GB SLI review. The second part will be um, looking at performance results and overclocking. There will be a link to the second video in this video's notes. Um, and I'll also pop the link up on the screen as well for you. Uh, make sure you watch the rest of the. Um, make sure you watch the second video because what you've seen so far is um, only half of it, and not the most important half of it. Um, yeah, make sure you check out all the performance results and what I managed to do with the overclocking and keep in mind there will be 3D surround um, results as well alright